back at it again i'm um, coming over here to grab my little shock mounts that i designed and printed yesterday and i have a feeling i'm gonna have to end up making the actual travel bracket itself a smidgen taller to get um the shocks that i want to be able to get on there because um i'm trying to get to where extended full length our shock's going to be 20 inches so that gives us room for a 16 inch spring which is what i like to run 14 to 16 inch spring um normally we run a 14 250 but i like having the option to stack two springs like i said to get to the 16 inch deal so i'm going to think change my design make it a little taller but for now i could put these on there bolt the shock on and get real world measurements so here we go these bad boys real quick oh. I think my screen's dirty let me clean it clean check those bad boys out 90 percent infill yeah these things are gonna be strong let's go see how they fit my shock mounts I don't know where exactly I went wrong, but they did not turn out <laughs> how I had measured them or wanted them to, but it actually worked out in my favor because I put the, uh, the bottom of the shock mount, I was able to put it exactly where it would mount if it had a T-bar. So that's factory mount location on the bottom control arm, which is good because I need that exact measurement. Um, I'm actually going to end up making, excuse me, I'm actually going to end up making my bracket taller to get the right, uh, the shock that I want in there. I'm not going to be able to run as tall of a shock on this setup as like we can on the, uh, on the, the G bodies and S tens. I don't know what it is about the suspension geometry. If I'm looking, I honestly think that the lower control arms on the S tens and G bodies are actually mounted lower than the Nova's. So that's, I think that might be it, but Either way, not to cloud the issue details, um, this shock fully extended is going to be about 19 inches where the, the G body S10 stuff's normally a little over 20 inches. So this is what I got. I'll show you what I got. So my shock would mount right about here right now, but I actually need it to mount up here about right there to get a 14 inch spring in there and be as long as I want it to be. So this piece right here is gonna get raised an inch and three quarter to where it hangs down and this can bolt through. So I'm gonna have to change my, I'm gonna have to change my design just a smidgen, but like the overall base of the design will stay the same. But this shock is actually gonna be way too long. Cause as you can see, this is full travel and we've only got half the shaft showing, but I ended up bolting that on my shock and then clamping it down to where that's setting right where it would mount if it had a T-bar in it. And then that gives me my measurement for what I need shock wise. So I'm gonna go change my design just a smidgen and get a new bracket printing. So that way tomorrow I can actually mount this shock and everything on there. And I'm probably gonna order some QA1s for this just because this isn't, uh, the, the regular QA1 Promo Stars are normally way too loose for what we do and with this setup the weight of this car the setup all that um those will be just fine because it doesn't have that much power so i'm going to order some promo stars to mount to this bad boy that way i can actually put coilovers on this and then actually going to be looking to trade lebron's although i would really like to keep it and i love this car i love driving it i love everything about it and i want to keep it and do all this stuff with it right now I don't really have that much room. I'm just, you know, I'm renting spaces out of Dennis's shop. So I don't have a lot of room for storage. I've already got one car in storage. I got a car in my trailer. I just, I have too much junk. So I want to get started on a GM A body. I really, really, really want a 1970 Chevelle. It's always been my dream car, but I know even, even a broke down just shell of a Chevelle out in the fields worth more than this thing is running. But I'm going to try to trade this for pretty much any year Chevelle, any A body that I can get my hands on. Uh, this thing runs and drives. I'm really only looking for a roller in a Chevelle because I know the value difference in them. I know I'm not gonna get anything running. Um, either way, if anybody has an old broke down 
preferably 70, or I can do 71, 72 Chevelle out in their field that I can drag out with my truck. Like it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to even barely roll. Like rolling is the max that I really need. Um, it can be rotted, rusted, ugly. I don't care as long as the frame is good and I can do some, make some brackets for it. That's all I want. Um, I can trade this. I can trade this with money or I could just buy it outright but i'm just i'm also trying to get rid of lebron so if anybody's looking for a uh, long travel straight six power glide i don't even know what year this thing is 68 nova um i got one for you and i need a chevelle so everybody keep their eye on the lookout for me like i said i know i'm not trying to get a bunch of money out of this thing and i know the trade value of this is not equal to any type of running chevelle um i'm not trying to take advantage of anybody i'm just trying to find something that i can use to make and i know people are going to offer me their cars and this and that to make the the brackets on but i don't want anybody else's car i don't want that uh that responsibility i've dealt with customer cars in the past i'm overdoing stuff on other people's cars i want my car that i could end up getting rid of or i could drop it off a cliff if i wanted to because i don't know how the kit's gonna go what all I'm going to need to do it. I'm going to be cutting and grinding and I don't want anybody's prized possession to be that piece that I'm doing it on. So, um, like I said, keep an eye out, send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything, shoot me a comment. If you know of where Chevelle's at, I'll practically travel anywhere in the United States to get one, um, within reason. Uh, but for now I'm going to go do some editing on my bracket and get a new one printing and probably get some shocks ordered. So, brb here we are after a few hours of kind of fiddling with it i got it to where it looks pretty dang nice it's obviously a whole lot taller so be curious to see how this works out and to make sure that our shock still fits in here without hitting anything i just ordered some uh I just ordered some cheap shocks. Sorry, my dang screen's dirty. I just ordered some cheap shocks to go on the front of it. Some coilovers. They're not. <laughs> they're not cheap. They're five hundred bucks. But uh, ordered those so that way I can actually make this thing running, driving again. And I'm gonna shoot this over once this this other print is done printing. I'm gonna shoot the file over to Matt Bruner and see if he can whip me up a quick bracket, a quick set, so that way I can get them on the car. And then I'll get them on my site. So one step closer, this is just, you know, before when we did the G body brackets, we would have to, or, you know, Zach would make a change or he would, he would design it and then Bruno would make it. And then we'd bring him there and I'd be like, Oh, we need to change this. So he would make a change. We sent it to Bruno and then it was this whole back and forth. And it took us over a year to get these brackets done. Well, now this has taken me, you know, if you really put it in a time, a couple weeks, and I think I'm getting ready to have what you would have taken us a year done in a week, so that way I can get these things into production. So, I'm really excited about this, really excited about getting them on my channel, or not my channel, <laughs> getting them on my site and on my channel, and then, uh, yeah, getting, uh, I just posted that I was looking for a Chevelle on my Facebook, and everybody's been hitting me up. I mean, people are sending me cutlasses and stuff like that, but I really want a Chevelle. Just because if I'm going to do the work on it and get it all done, if it's a roller, then I could possibly put a motor and stuff in it. And I'm not, like I said, not saying a nice roller. I don't care if the floors are rusted, quarters are rusted, whatever. I just need the bones to be good so that way I could slap a Kirky seat in it and some long travel and a little junkyard motor. So, Good morning. I'm back and I think I have what is going to be my 100% seal the deal bracket done this is version eight now so i'm gonna get this thing off here and i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna test fit it and hopefully it fits just the way i want it to the way i plan it to and then i'm gonna go make a few changes cosmetic changes you know put my logo and stuff in there then i'm gonna send that file to bruner and may 1st is when I'm going to pick all these brackets up. So until May 1st, I'm going to have a pre-sale going on. Get in line to get them while getting's good. Okay, one small problem. 
Not with the bracket that I'm addressing, it's with the shock mount. Because, let me show you what I'm working with here. So since I made this taller, I'm gonna have to do cutouts like this to get the bolt and nut on there. Um, and this braquito right here is now, it's too close to the edge to do these. So I just had to move this hole back a quarter inch. So I came to my handy dandy laptop and drew up a new bracket with these holes, as you can see, those holes are back a quarter inch. So I got that printing now and I'm gonna go get some super glue. So that way, once that's done printing, I could take this or that new one and glue it in here after I drill my holes. And then once my holes are drilled, this is glued in. Eh. I can bolt this bracket in the Nova and then once it's bolted in the Nova and it's it's how I like it, then I can come back through and on my design here, I can add these little holes, my shock sensor holes, um, you know, the cutout, the cutout in the back, and my my logo. So once I verify that's exactly what I want and get the holes where I want them, I can bring this back in here, measure, make changes to my design, and I honestly 100% believe that 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 will be the final design and then I can post these on the website and start doing a pre-sale. So I'm freaking excited. Today's the day. New bracket, shock mount deals, got 40 minutes left. And I want to pull my old one off until I got the holes and everything in the new one, but I don't know where to put the holes in the new one until I get this bracket done. So I'm going to box up some orders. What my brother? All right, all right, got all today's orders that are going out and packaged up, and my print is done. Brown chick around, around. Pop this thing off, and let's go glue it on. All right, I just got this thing glued together. I had to trim this a little bit, so I already went into my software and Lower this bit, lower this bit, and I actually changed this mount to where it's a little shorter so that way this can move up just a smidgen. But for the for basically the most part, this the only thing that's gonna change is this about a quarter of an inch up. So everything else about the bracket is the same. I think I'm only gonna do this hole on this side and then leave this side open, you know, uh, closed so that way you only really need one side to get your bolt in and then your nut will fit on here, no problem. So this side's gonna be closed, probably have NBI right there. And then I'm just gonna change this up to smidgen so that way this can move up and weld flush to this and then I can weld down here. So very minor changes, but this should be our finished product. So I'm gonna go put it on the Nova right now. There she is. So, obviously, like I said, this oh, this is gonna be moved up a quarter of an inch. So that'll put put it dead center of that piece right there, and make it more up there. But look at that, boy. That looks good, man. That looks really good. And it's literally sitting right on this factory wheel well. Wheel well. It couldn't have gotten any closer. And I've used my old, this is actually the uh, the rear shock and springs off of Uncle Sam. But I used this just to make sure that it was going to clear in the back. Like, I still have a whole lot more I can take out of this thing. But I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to hit the back of the bracket or anything like that. And it's still pretty much lined up exactly where it's gonna go down there. So I'm gonna trim some more out of here just to make sure everything's kosher. And then uh, you can see. So 
as it moves up, it's actually gonna bring the bottom of that shock out. So, go a little more. This shock obviously is not long enough, but it'll show you where it's gonna be in that range of motion. So that's, that right there is dead center of where it's gonna be. And we're perfectly cleared on everything up there. Still got clearance there, clearance. We got clearance everywhere, clearance. So I've got a set of cheap shocks on the way and I can get this thing finished up. I might, if Bruner can't get me a set of prototypes made, then I might just cut them out myself and weld them together instead of having them all bent. But I think that's the end of it. I'm gonna go, like I said, make a few cosmetic upgrades to this or not upgrades, but just changes and heck yeah, we're in. We're in like Flynn, boys. The Nova brackets are donezo. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I'm not excited or anything. <laughs> Hopefully these things make me some money so I can get back to work on Uncle Sam. Ye freaking haul. All right, one more look with the Afco on there because it just, it just looks amazing. It just looks amazing. And I think it'll look better once this is up a little further because right now it kind of looks weird just hanging down there. So it'll be up further and I'm gonna put a hole back there and a hole back there. So that way you can bolt to the sides. Also, if somebody's not gonna weld this or just gonna use those two bolts and then the two side bolts, that'll keep it from trying to rock back. So it'll just give it a little more strength. And obviously this is full droop, so that won't interfere with this and then this one will be in the back corner so it shouldn't interfere with that but we got clearance all the way around and it just looks amazing it's amazing what you can accomplish in a week when you use your imagination and put your mind to it so i'm gonna go finish like i said a little bit of designing and uh get these bad boys up on the site